Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a review on one of the candles that I purchased with one of the hauls from Goose Creek Candle. Now I did or I was majorly disappointed with one of them called Harvest Hayride. A beautiful scent on cold sniff, no throw when you burn it but who, who knows every candle is different I was just disappointed with that one I do burn it I still do burn it and now it's playing the peekaboo with me and you probably know what the peekaboo is the scent comes out like peekaboo I'm coming peekaboo you know it does this kind of stuff it'll peek out you know like it, the, the scent will throw once in a while and then it just goes away yeah but it's, it's a nice scent it's just no throw anyway the next one that I wanted to burn was one from my hauls called Crunchy Leaves. There it is. This is a two wick candle. Let me put it into focus. It's really nice. It has a picture of beautiful fall leaves in the front. Um, paraffin wax, two wick candle, lovely, lovely candle. It's like a, like a rust burgundy color, very pretty. Anyway, on cold sniff, I did get the scent of wood. That's what I got. And I'm going to read you the scent description. It says, enjoy notes of black currant, Fuji apple, tangerine, enriched with a warm heart of cinnamon stick, clove, but plum puree. Cedar wood, oak bark, amber, convey a cozy finish. Now, you definitely, when I burnt this, you definitely get the scent of the woods. You get the cedar wood, you get oak bark. And you get a little bit of the Fuji apple because it's a tiny bit sweet. Just a tiny bit. Just enough to edge out the sharpness of maybe what the woods might bring to you. Cinnamon stick a little bit. Not that much. And the clove bun. Maybe. I actually, remember I mentioned the, I burnt this by itself because when I review a candle, I usually burn it by itself in its space, in its own room, just to see how it burns how it works how it throws but the second time around sometimes I blend them so I did take the harvest hay ride the clove non-throwing one and I mixed it with this one wonderful blend by the way but let's get back to this one this one is wonderful it has a great throw all by itself it does have a medium almost I could smell it in other rooms too. It's, it's, you can smell it in its own room. It has a medium to high throw. It's really nice. Burn beautifully. No problem. See? No problem because of the two wicks. The only thing I do warn you with sometimes, Goose Creek candles. You see how the wicks, I just burnt it this morning. I do have to trim these wicks sometimes um, when you are burning it, when the the wax gets down a little low the you'll see the candles and i'm sorry the flames sort of flickering they get sort of big and best thing to do is perhaps just blow them out and trim them up and once they're kept at a normal range they're, they're pretty easy to deal with but on first burn don't worry about it you know how i am about first burn but the following burns just be a little bit watchful of the wicks and she'll give you no problem because it's awesome. Burns cleanly, gorgeous, gorgeous candle. There you go. But this is Crunchy Leaves by Goose Creek Candle. It's a wonderful addition to fall. It's a nice scent. It's not like Yankee Candle's Autumn Leaves. It's a little... Uh, Yankee Candle Autumn Leaves to me is very, very sharp. This one is sharp, but it's edged out with the apple and a little bit of the sweetness of the cinnamon and the clove, the tweak of the clove, but I like this one more. Anyway, there you go. A wonderful candle from Goose Creek, crunchy leaves. I think you'll like it. Anyway, there it is. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I should say, thank you for watching. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And take care. Bye-bye.